Welcome back to Trauma Team, and boy howdy, if there were ever an episode to watch, it would be this one. I mean, if you're looking for Naomi Kimishima's, uh, medical forensics technology, this is Crime of Passion. This may be the best case so far. I dig it. Let's see what happens. I mean, have and you ever done something out of passion? Nah, it's always out of spite. How should I know? And I obligation. To bring you. That's probably why you're still Let's Playing. That's it's probably been a while since I was last at an FBI office. Can't do anything without passions. Like, welcome back to Trauma sure Team. <laughs> Here we are. We're just playing the game some more. And they're at the tenth floor. Uh, Dr. Kimishima. Huh? Oh, she collapsed. Well, I mean, she is sick. She is sick. This would be kind of an eye opener for everybody no else. What? I refuse. I'm a doctor, not one of your little agents. Ooh, yeah. Tell him. Tell him off. You're a master surgeon who can't operate anymore. She have a. I wish I didn't have Stephen to Strange to issue. Let me remind you that you are only free on plea bargain. You still suffer from the disease you gave yourself. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, no! what? You don't have that many cards left to play at this point. Why would you infect yourself? The affected areas that were inoculated have been extracted. Seems like there's something we don't quite know Please about Dr. Naomi Kimishima. Something must have happened between New Blood and Trauma Team. I'll come up with a plan too. Please. Stay alive till then. Hmm. <laughs> I don't have a choice, do I? Let's talk business. Okay, let's go. Here's the intel. The agency thanks you for your cooperation. So, let's make it clear. We're doing this not because we want to, but because we have to. But we're dying anyway, so whatever. I do kind of like how she just accepts it and just goes, I don't have a choice. It's All right, let's game. do it. Took you a while. Did she you seems very, uh, like an efficient type of woman. It's like, well, that's not going to work. Fuck it. Let's do it then. With the same condition. I want to uh, yank my balls around like true, that, then. but let's just it's like, all right, yank away, douchebags. I'll get to jumping before it gets me to do something else. Special surgeon. I see. And the cause of it all? Could it be an epidemic? I can't say. Like you, I'm getting a bad feeling here. Oh, I'm I'm sure it's fine. And then the universe imploded. Oh well, yeah, anyways, I can't win them all. Try and get over here as soon as possible. Well, all right. <laughs> I just You're realized. Dr. Shima, <laughs> see, done, right? Excuse me, ma'am. Are those real thigh highs? Yes, they are. <laughs> the FBI with some difficult cases. How did they figure out where I'm I was? Not involved. Come on, don't grab the like lens. That? Is it true you can hear the dead? Why were you at the FBI today? Is it about the bombings? Uh, yep, we are chasing a bomber today. That's a good hook. All right. And what a mess. The media doesn't know what discretion is. Uh, the Corpse uh, Whisperer. Can I get a better name, please? Can, can we re-roll on my nickname, please? Who's the, who's, the, who's the fucking slack-jawed intern that Dr. thought Kimishima, that shit up? So, Naomi, I heard you go up to a body and go, Let's put those clothes. Oh, uh, there's some camera crews outside, so I, uh... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I thought he was about to throw hands! She's <laughs> like, Director, please, let me fight her. Alright, I'm getting a call now. This is a... This is a victim of, of, the, of the bomber. The mad bomber, whatever. Oh dear. Didn't even see it coming. Yeah, instantaneous. Okay. Again, good hook. The voice. He was cut off. Well, an explosion will do Didn't that. did he even have a chance to see his death coming? A death like this must leave you unsatisfied. Hey, wait a minute. 
there's like right. still a face there. I'll find the malice. T-rated game. Come on. I know. I know. Can't really. I mean, we can't do L.A. Noir style autopsies here with his flesh realistically singed off. Aiden Posner. Late, guy. Hurry up and get ready. A professional tennis player. Killed in a bombing uh, at his home, victim of a serial bumper. I would have gone with, uh, to nice, but... <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, ten nice. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. That's a lot of nice. Yes, it is. That's like 69 to the tenth. <laughs> Hold on, is that math? No, that's too much. That's way too much. That's a lot of nice. 69 times... <laughs> times 69 ten times? Fuck yeah! No, no one's that nice. A politician, an entertainer, and now an athlete. I see. That is kind of tragic no that he was bombed at his home. Ouch. It, it was it was just random. But I can't argue against it. This body is the. You probably thought it was a package from a fan. Since the first lady is coming to Portland in a few days, we need this case solved ASAP. All right then. So this isn't for the people who live here. <laughs> How noble. It's not like that. It's in everyone's best interest. Sure it is. Oh. Mm -hmm. In any event, what do we know about When the case? FBI calls, sure, the it's for everybody's best interest. interest. We also have a record of the call before the bombing. <gasps> mm. Right. Let's check everything. We might find a clue. All right. I'm not going to sympathize or have pity on you. But I will see that you get the fair uh, 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 It doesn't make you seem likable, Miss K Kimishima. I mean, good. Uh, Show oh, me wow. how your flame was extinguished. That's, ma'am. That's really cringe. <laughs> I can't wait for us to hear the call, and it just starts with, "Hello, Aiden. <laughs> I want to play a game." Okay, so let's go check the body first. Let's just let's just get things started. Off to the evidence room. Looking at the body, the corpse of Whisper to Hello, tell me what you know. Ooh, shrapnel. We got a lot of shrapnel. So we'll take out the lacerations this here. Wound is likely from the impact of the explosion. Either that or a very, very meticulous wolverine. Studying the pattern of these wounds may help us determine how far the victim was from the explosion. It looks like it was right in his face. It looks like it was right in front of him, yes. Oh, uh, right here, yeah. This piece of metal here. Metal is lodged in the corpse. Seem to be impressed that we found that so quickly. This is probably because. Yeah, most deaths from explosions are caused due to shrapnel. The explosion blew it there, but it's an extreme form of body piercing. Right. Bro. The force from an explosion can turn almost anything into a deadly thing. Yes, now. that is we'll precisely how bombs to work. We have to get that to examine and see what exactly it is, though. We can, know, we can know more about the bomb, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Mystery metal. Uh, is there anything... So there's probably nothing on his face. Yeah, there's nothing there. It, nothing on the face, not even, like, features. Uh, there's gunpowder all over this, this place. got this bit on his right palm over Ooh. here. What is this? There's some kind of substance hmm. on his finger. Interesting. I don't... Hmm. It's peculiar that it's there. He probably didn't have a chance to block his face. Have to look into that a bit more, but there's also some burn marks here, too. The and they seem to be impressed we found that, too. Maybe... Hold on, I'm holding up my hand. It's my face. Oh! Uh, he might have effect. covered his face. Unfortunately, if the blast still... Correctly, his you know, was... Took out the rest of his torso. Well, uh, what, is that really all that uh, unusual? Because, after all, he was a sing... Tennis, tennis player. player. Green grocer. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, he was a tennis The player. roughest broccoli this you've ever seen. Oh my god! <laughs> Uses that as a racket, meaning that he was right-handed. And be sinister. <laughs> <laughs> to the right, left, <laughs> right, <laughs> left, both, or evil. Evil. This, along with the musculature on the arm, or, or maybe that means neither. Right like he just isn't handed. Uh, is, <laughs> does he have hands? Y or N? He plays tennis with his feet. So what was that called? Amba... Ambi sinister. Ambi sinister. Is that an actual word? Ambi sinister. 
awkward or clumsy with both hands. Wow. It is an actual word. Check his record. Let's see how good he was. Wow. All right. Uh, personal effects close. It's all burnt up. Uh, very much, yes. Yeah, that's it. Pretty, pretty yeah, sure that's it. Nothing yeah. there. So he took that straight to the chest and arms. Yeah. There's like nothing wrong with his pants at all. Did the green goblin toss a goblin bomb at him or... Jesus. All right, let's sort through some evidence. A lot of this is going to be strictly deduction based. Well, right, because we have nobody to pin this on. All right, so first up, the mystery medal. We'll give it to little guy. Hey, little guy, I need something looked at. Okay, this, it's a piece of steel pipe. You can find this anywhere. What do you need me to check? It was lodged in So Aiden's it's common course, metal. Probably propelled by the blast. I see. Somebody at home making pipe bombs? Scan on it then. Please do. Have you found anything out? There's black powder on it. Mm. It was probably used as the propellant in the explosion. Hmm, I see. Oh, propellant. If that's the case, then that piece of metal I guess is... I don't know how bombs work. So that metal is probably shrapnel. To make sure that it doesn't just blow them back and burn them, it cuts them up too. Did you ever hear the story about the Mythbusters and trying to bust yes. a myth about a bomb? It's most no. Like black they recorded the whole steam. episode... And both hosts and the studio agreed, we can't show this to people. It is literally too easy to make a bomb. Oh, no, it is. It really so is. So they actually cut that episode because it's like, that's ah, too dangerous. All right, substance a little finger. We can also send a little What's guy. Substance, little guy. Is see it what kind of weird stuff this is. Uh, Gunpowder yeah, or ash? I'd assume it's something that was carbonized by the blast. Huh. No, wait. Oh. What's the matter? Well... This isn't soot or a remnant of something that had been burned. Then what is it? Tennis chalk. Uh, if I were to make a decision based on what I see here, carbon? It's carbon dust. Carbon dust? Why would something like that be on the victim? Uh, also part of the explosion? That, but, well, I don't have a clue. Tell me why they hired you again. Hey, people don't just run into carbon <laughs> dust in their daily lives. I do, I mean. <coughs> Using it as a component in a bomb is unusual too. Honestly, I just don't know. <sighs> Thanks for all the help, buddy. Let's just keep this fact in mind for later, then. All right. So, some mysterious substance, we don't know what it is. That's carbon dust, it might be related to the bomb. And now for the, uh, lacerations. Can I bother you, little guy? I want to know more about these wounds. Sure. The wounds spread in a radial pattern. Looking at the angles, it seems that So with all that shrapnel, the mm. only one... Got lodged in his chest. Everything else must have like from the point sliced point. up and course, out, or it was too fine, or it went in. The yeah. The wounds on the body indicate this radio. I mean, it, it's it's a very cursory autopsy we're if doing here. Yes, yes. Just once wounds, over, maybe the twice. Bomb must have been. Uh, <laughs> very very close uh, to him. Very close. Yes. It's almost as if he was holding, holding it. it. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I'm gonna it laugh if very close, this guy was the random bomber and he accidentally bombed himself like an idiot. <laughs> the bomb was right in front of the victim. It's like I, I will die. I will set society up, and I will. What's that? Wait. What? what what's? Oh no! <laughs> Yikes! I'd never want that to happen to me. All right. Now let's hear some testimony. We got Melissa Farrell, his manager. So hmm. what happened? Let's hear what you got. Yes, I'm all right. I've calmed down now. Yes, I'd heard that the next target would be an athlete, but I never imagined oh. Aiden would be murdered. We just had the security on his home increased, after all. He didn't want to do it, but I convinced him. Yes, hmm. the more famous you are, the more danger you're exposed to. He must have had some kind of the cover. Happened, I was going to go over some arrangements with him. I called him about an hour before. Yeah, like you, you get all the security. And then the, the killer slips in because it's someone you trust. So he's got some kind of cover, I think. Huge flames just burst Persona 4, yada yada. It was yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sudden. I thought that there had been a gas leak or something and that I had to rescue him. Oh, I wouldn't that be a cruel twist of fate? I saw him on the floor. I frantically pulled him out by his legs. But they came by the off. time I got him out of the house, he wasn't breathing anymore. Hmm. Well, nothing, nothing there, uh, but... By the way, about the manager, there's almost no chance that she's the culprit. 
Well, no. How do you figure that? We've done a complete background check on her, and her home has been searched thoroughly. She seemed very Based distraught. There's no way that she did that, it. that was very real. Is that so? So, is the bomber a magician then? <laughs> <laughs> Press the digit explosion! Oh no! Victim <laughs> security was perfect. How did this so-called revolutionary plant the bomb in his house, arm it, and time the explosion mm, cover, I say. kill the victim? Maybe it's why. That's who he was talking to right we can at the say end. About this bomber is that the victims were killed by bombs. Let's continue investigating then. <laughs> it's my job. Thank you for that input cases. there, MacGyver. Yeah, very blase uh -huh. about that. <laughs> yes, right. The well, bomber uh -huh. kills people with bombs. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, and I kill people who you know, give me stupid answers. So we got the uh, recording. Oh, of the, yeah, the bomb yeah, threat. We, we got the threat itself. Hello, Eden. He's called the revolutionary. Gee, I hope he's wearing a Guy Fox mask. Yeah, well. All right, let's hear what he has to say. Fourth statement. Yeah, because he's killed like three people. So. Right, right, right. Here we go. Hello. Hey, you listening? It's the revolutionary. You guys must be total idiots. I mm. win again. Uh, okay, he's gonna name his next victim now, I think. Eh, Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. You and I are fucked! Bye, everybody! Oh, no! Uh, seriously, that's the only hint? A white guy! Huh. Uh, if I narrow it down, I think we can get to close to, uh, five million people that it could be. He disgusts me. This murder is just a game to him. Sick bastard. Well, it's not like we're... It kind of sounds like Little Guy. It might be your low and fall, but it's not Little Guy. I think that's Sam Regal, actually. Is it? Pulling double duty, yeah. So, was the voice on the phone processed at all? We've run a spectrographic analysis on the voice from the recording. It doesn't look that's, like there's any audio legit. manipulation being applied to the voice. That's very bold. <laughs> I see. He so wants to get caught. Real obviously. Voice, it's all a true, game. Then we can tell that he's... Well, he's obviously a young male. Yeah, 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 yeah He's yeah, not yeah. an alien. <laughs> he's not an alien. That was a young man's voice. Imagine if he was he an old man, like an old prospector type. Of the next <laughs> Yeehaw! He said that his next time, time to blow up a white guy. Then it's gonna be a white guy too. Uh huh. The nation of Japan. The director. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I turned his desk. So it's gonna be a young. It's it's a white right. guy I and. Think uh, he was a male. The, the revolutionary is a young male, but he could it could be a proxy, you know? You never know. We're doing what we can to narrow down Ooh, like the threats. Mandarin. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hmm. Huh, good. Tr it we could be this could be a Trevor Slattery, you know? Yeah. Guess what? Dr. Kimishima, another corpse has arrived. Another victim! Another one? What are you talking about? The newest victim. Ah! That was quick! We just got his warning and we couldn't figure it out! Yes, apparently. The corpse is in the autopsy room. So, please investigate it when you. Oh, I guess the report we just got was the white male, right? Yep. I guess it's gonna be a white guy then. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at you. How bad is this? The fourth one. Oof. Very. How many more will there be by the time this is all over? Oh, another call. Hmm. I can't hear anything. So he died before he was able to say anything. There's no call. Ooh. Ooh. Dead before he could say anything. All right. Let's take a look at this guy. 
same same deals before lacerations very close to him has obvious lacerations and burns no shrapnel though but I'm pretty sure we can glean it, that it's yeah, the same thing these exact same bomb similar to the ones found on Aiden's corpse must have been holding it the same way too if it was just right there mm -hmm. this requires okay. further investigation and then we got of course yeah. so, there it is Strange Left carbon dust again. Ah. Now where was that? On a little finger. Little finger. Yes, I noticed this on the third victim, Aiden Posner, as well. There's something a little different about this, though. It's on the it's other the hand. It's the physical location. The flavor. <laughs> yes. <Aiden laughs> yep. Yep. That's carbon. <laughs> The substance on Aiden's hand was... On his right hand. On the right little finger compared to the wrong one. That's right. It was on the little finger of his right hand. I should have these compared to see if they're the same substance. All right. How about his clothes? We're probably all blown up. Really can't glean anything from his clothes either. They just look bloody, mainly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same. And yep, singed. Just, yeah, not, nothing really here. Okay. So I guess we can just go back to the office. You know, I know this is dark and depressing and everything. I'm listening. I just want the call from the from the spirit to be ah shit. <laughs> fuck! 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 Going up! And a Caucasian male, as in the bomber's warning. Yes. So wait, some random college kid just got bodied because this dude's a maniac? Uh-huh. Oh, what the fuck? Well, finding out shouldn't make us any happier. It's another life lost. Right, right. This might sound a little morbid, but we got lucky with this explosion. It didn't uh. cause any fires or structural damage, so the crime scene is more or less intact. Uh, oh, okay. okay. We've got something to check out now. Opportunity to find out who did it. Huh, that's true. The more information we can get, the better. Perfect. Right. Let's go. Investigating the crime scene in the corpse may help us progress in the investigation. Right. I've sent all the information we have right now to your computer. I'll have HQ get us a recording of the original bomb threat, too. Yes, thank you. Please I was do. hoping we I'm would hear the other threats. Alright. Let's head to the crime scene first. Yes, please. There's not much to find here anyway. This room belonged to the fourth oh, victim, Stephen Elder. Oh my god. Yo, woo! <laughs> the explosion was concentrated yeah, on the right thing side of the room. Blew the hell the left up. Side is almost untouched. Huh? What's that sound? Huh? Oh, so that's what it was. A old rotary phone. Hello? Excuse me, but isn't this Mr. Eldred's residence? That's correct. And you are Michael Lang. I'm from Lone in Texas. Oh no. <laughs> if you are aware of our business model, then you must know why I'm Oh going. shit! Huh. You're alone. Oh shit! Does that mean Stephen Eldred has a debt? I will not divulge any of my customers' personal information. Oh, shit. But yeah. Oh Mr. yeah. Oh ho oh, oh, oh yeah. I can contact him. Well then. Michael Lang from Lone. Oh no! Texas. Did he get sharked? Was that really a call from a loan shark? Uh oh! Was that, was that a real guy though? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a placebo guy. Hmm. Could this be the computer that the victim used? This may still have some information we can use. Let's power it up and see what there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Odd. The screen isn't turning on. Oh, the computer get fried? It's not accepting any input either. Could it be broken? Huh. Hmm. Keep that in mind, then. It wasn't that close to the explosion. No, it wasn't. All right, next, uh, the guitar here. Oops. I would hate for it to be the the guitar. It's like a guy is giving out gifts, but they're actually bombs inside guitars. <laughs> Jesus. We got this piece of metal here. What could this hey, compare the shrapnel. Same bomb. Same bomb. 
Hey, I really think it's the same bomb, same bomb. It's embedded rather deep. Man, you had a good, good thing going there. The same bomb, same, same bomb. bomb. Gonna blow you same up. Bomb. Same bomb, same bomb. Oh, I want you to blow up. Same bomb. I could use a different gun, but I will use the same bomb. All right. Okay, we are ready. Hey, little guy. I need some help from you. What are you up to now? I'm insane. No good. <laughs> There's somebody I need you to look into. Is that all? Be yeah, no that that loan shark guy. Good. His name is Bring Michael him in. Lang. He's a loan shark. Planning on buying a house soon? Stop playing around. He called the victim's <laughs> phone. I see. Was no that a nonsense. Call? Did the victim owe him money? He hung up before I could find. These actors out. have good chemistry That's together, so that when the jokes assistance. kind of bounce back off each other, it did, uh, it lands better. Okay, I'll look into him. Make sure to check. So I know how place called loan how and anime houses. is dubbed. It's know, individual actors recording one at a time. Mm -hmm. I wonder if video games still have roundtable readings. Hmm. I'm sure everything's different from game to game. Definitely. All right. So we got a non-responsive computer. Look at hey, that. Hey, little guy. Can you look at something for me? I'm not a computer tech. The computer won't boot up. It was in an explosion. It's probably broken. That shut doesn't really matter as long shut as we can get the data Shut up, you stupid blind little idiot! God. Easy there, mate. Sorry, I just didn't want to be talked down to like that. Wait a second. Don't you condescend to me, you little baby. Did you little find guy. something? <laughs> In itself, it's condescending. Yes. <laughs> the computer's fine. So have. <laughs> it's up because it's locked. Is there any way oh, to just lock it? Well, we could try to force our way in, though. There's a chance it'll wipe itself and we'll lose Let's not do that. I want to see what's on it. Victim was using voice authentication software. Aha. Uh -huh. Voice uh -huh. authentication. So it'll only start up using the owner's voice. Will we be yes, able to use our phone? To Stephen Eldred. <sighs> so it'll never start up. Oh, again. interesting. Hmm. But nobody else knows about that skill, or I guess they do if it's in the news. But oh, oh, not like that. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, he didn't even have a voice anyway. Oh, that was the college kids. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was uh, the tennis player. No, 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 no. This is uh, the college kids' place. Oh. All right. Now, substance on little finger two. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, do you need something analyzed? What's this? There. Does this taste like carbon to you? <laughs> a little. This was found. Some kind of phosphorus added too. Can you can you please stop pushing victims' can you see if this fingers is the same into my substance mouth? that was found on Aiden's hand? <laughs> <laughs> sure, it'll just take a moment. <laughs> Jesus! Doctor, carbon please. Dust too. There's no mistaking it. So confirmed carbon dust. Mm hmm Same thing. I thought as much. But why would they both have carbon dust on them? Mm -hmm. Well, good question. Alright, how about uh, injuries from explosion too? Wherever that is. Uh, right there. Is there uh, uh two. Uh I need two. these wounds and there we go. <laughs> That's a radically expanding wounds. Yeah! <laughs> Destroyed by a bomb explosion! Way to go out, little dude! Look at the radial explosion, Dr. Kimishima. Wow, like a flower blooming. Kaboom. At very close range. Very, very, very close, close range. range. Right? Not behind them. Inside them. <laughs> Oh god. A belly oh. bomb! Yeah. Yeah. This victim was killed by a close range explosion as well. At first glance, it looks like the same method was used. I should compare the two to learn more. Next up, uh, mystery metal too. Hey little guy, can you tell me anything about this? Yes, of course. It's I almost want the actress for I now me to make an oops in, and just so go, <laughs> hey little guy. <laughs> Hey, little guy. Oh, how you doing, little guy? Ooh, ooh. The chromatographic scan shows traces of black powder. The powder was used as the explosive propellant. Yep. Hmm. Same deal. Now we know for sure what that piece of metal is. It's part of a robot. It's part of the it's bomber. It's part of a gun. Yes. Part of the bomber. Like the same situation that occurred. <laughs> In every bomb I make. Hold on. I won't be able to make too many bombs. <laughs> 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 
there we go. It's personalized. Fuck your society. I get the feeling that this will work with something else. That it almost sounds like a shitty creepy pasta. Every bomb from the bomber is personalized. <laughs> Different segment of a finger is in there. This is my final bomb because I put my heart in it. <laughs> uh, look, the guitar. Yeah, what's, what's what's this guitar cool about? Guy. Are you a music aficionado at all? Huh? Why? Well, I know bits and pieces. Hmm. I can sing Maybe Twinkle Twinkle Little either. Star in the tune of the ABCs. Oh, this thing's I can sing in an H flat. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> twinkle Twinkle! It's like oh, an inverse harmony. Little guy, you're singing in J minor, my dude. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. Oh, I think you found something about this guitar. Oh. Her? It was in the victim's room. I don't think that was any old guitar. Ooh. The, the neck was broken in the explosion. Probably, I think he's a fan. Yes, so what? Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god! Jeez, alright. Hey, calm down. What's wrong? This was my favorite! I can't calm down. This guitar, it belonged to musical legend Ben Frank. Ben Frank. Hang on. Wait. Isn't that one of the music guys at Atlas? Maybe. Ben Franklin, I think, is his name. Look, it's the 1955 model. Ugh. Yep, oh, big old nerd. I don't yeah. Understand. Is that instrument valuable? It's beyond valuable. This is <laughs> a miracle. Normally, I'd have it sent to the museum immediately for safekeeping, but oh, damn it. Uh. <laughs> Doesn't this get to you, Doctor? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, it's a broken guitar. D yeah, I mean, I'm going to die, and I'm at the slave of the FBI, so what would I care about a guitar? Listen to me. If this was ever on the market, it would go for... Yeah, you called it. It is a, uh, a stage name. Mm -hmm. Of course it is! That's impressive. It's <laughs> personal. <laughs> Oh my god. It'd be like if someone put a bomb into a, a, a Nintendo World Championship gold cart. Uh, yes. The last one. Well, no! Huh. In any event, I could Do you think little guy watches Pawn Stars? Like, religiously? Not religiously, but I bet he likes it. That's mm -hmm. not the kind of thing an ordinary student would be able to afford. Perhaps I should have him look at it. Like, it comes up to a Stratocaster and he <laughs> should have been like, You should have given him 10,000 for that! And it's now a hundred thousand dollar guitar. That's a very expensive guitar. All right, let's combine some stuff. Let's combine both the bomb fragments. These pieces of metal were found at both Aiden's and Stephen's deaths. Material analysis showed that both pieces were chemically identical. That means. That means sniper rifle. <laughs> I mean steel pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So they were it's quite pipe bombs. That both pieces were cut from common steel pipes. There's something else we discovered about the metal fragments. That is. Explosive propellant. It go boom and these things. Indeed. Actually, one shard. Very strange. I saw the bomber's blood as a selection. Every bomb is personalized. The, <laughs> the same metal casing. The bombs in these cases are the same type of explosive. All right, now for the close range explosions. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes, these two. They look similar, but the only difference is where the Aiden carbon Cosmo is on their Stephen hands. Eldred. The conditions of both explosions were the same. Yes, it's the same. Thank you, dear. I'm gonna, ding, ding, ding. gonna hurry this along. It's a lot There's of just uh, ruminating and combining were things. By the same person, after all. So next up is both the carbon dust fingers. Huh. Yes, these two can be put together. They both have carbon huh, dust on the yes. Mm, yes, mm, I suppose. Mm. If you're a dork, in <laughs> quite different between the two of them. That is. Little guy from across the county. No, oh, I'm not. It's on different hands. The color's different. This one's black, this one's charcoal. Yes. Oh. The substance was on Aiden's right hand. Hey, little guy, is carbon left. supposed to look turquoise? So many No, no, that's copper. Oh, dear. This bothers me a little. All right, he's calmed down, I think. So let's talk about the guitar again. Little guy, can I borrow you for a moment? <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. Can you take a close look at this guitar? <laughs> that is the sound of a professional guitar looker. Please do, then. What can you tell me about? 
it's beautiful and say, rare and expensive. Find and something? <laughs> if you and the guitar were in a burning yes. building, I'd take the guitar first. Looks like this guitar was played by <laughs> Nothing against you, you're just mean to me sometimes. <laughs> the guitar mm, was so always nice. What does that mean? Is the guitar a fake? <gasps> oh, of course not. The scratches, the wear, everything says it's the real deal. Maybe that's from the bomb. Frank is right-handed. Uh, I beg your pardon? set to be played by someone who's left-handed. The guitar's set for uh, a left-handed player. Oh, uh, huh. The difference between right and left-handed guitars is... The direction? Like, what, what do you need? The string order. Yes, the string orders. Yes, the string order is reversed, depending on the dominant hand. I'm surprised you knew that, Dr. Kimishima. I'm surprised, too. I just happened to right know. Just pulled that out my ass. <laughs> That's the opposite for left-handers. Hmm. The fourth victim owned this guitar. I doubt that he would lend his hundred thousand dollar guitar to you. Else. You keep that shit. I lend it to you, buddy. That makes it likely that Stephen L. I'm keeping was. that shit. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> you don't even play guitar. He's left footed. <laughs> as soon as you went to foot, I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> left handed, right. This has nothing to do with that foot. information could prove useful. All right, so we got a left-handed owner with calluses on palm. These two may lead us to learn something new. The third victim, Aiden Posner, the callus on his palm is proof of his dominant arm. That would right. mean he was... Uh, his... Right hand. Yeah. Mutant third hand. Yeah, mutant third <laughs> hand. He was right hand. Sticking out of his torso. The victim, Stephen Eldred. His he was the lefty. tells us which is his dominant hand. That would be his... Left hand. Left hand. He was telekinetic. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. The guitar had been strung for a left-handed player. The famous musician the guitar belonged to was right-handed. If anyone were to change the strings, it would be the current owner. Yeah, I don't know. Some thieves are weird sometimes. Stephen Eldred was himself left-handed. I wonder if this difference will be any help in this investigation. Don't <laughs> like that'll ever happen. Nah, never. All right, so explosion similarities and uh, same bombs. Wherever that is, same bombs. Right Hello? there, yeah. right there. There, there is same bombs. we can deduce using this information. The raging bomber is believed to have been responsible for four bombings. Of the two cases that I've been investigating, the third and fourth victims, both bombs were made of a metal pipe and used black powder. Mm. Also, the wounds on the victims have another similarity. That is... The bombs have the same power. Yes. I saw the word grudges the in there. Bodies <laughs> help us determine makes, the strength makes me giggle explosions. a little bit. It turns out that both corpses had almost the exact same wounds. Materials, propellants, power. They all Hands, the idea strings, bombs guitars, political leaders. leanings. Another Cereal likes. Cases is the financial worth. From the Favorite waffles. Favorite daytime sitcom. Both Aiden and Steven. Best N64 game on their shelf. Worst Game Boy game on their friend's shelf. Uh, by, the way, by the way, it's Mole Mania. The game's terrible. I uh, never played. Anyway, uh, uh, both very, very close. Very close. I think the yes. other three answers both were them far, were very, very far, so <laughs> freaking far, <laughs> and not far. Same bomb, same delivery method. This all draws us to a logical conclusion that the bomb is the bomber. Uh, the same person. Oh my god, they were the same person. Wow! I can't believe this was actually a thing we had to do. We gotta, we gotta go through the steps. It it's it's procedural. Remember. I know. I know. I know. The same person. Yup. All right. Let's let's leave. Did I miss one thing? I did, yes. One, one more thing we gotta, we gotta combine. Oh, I was about to say, go to recordings. It was differences in dust and differences in... Top right. What? Top right. <laughs> in victims. I think these may help us get closer to solving the mystery. Both the third and fourth victims had carbon dust on their fingers. Yup. But the locations of the dust are the major difference between them. On the I mean, that just changes what hands they open the, the bomb present with. The two victims had different dominant hands. From these two facts, we can tell that the carbon dust was... On their hands. On the dominant hand. Yup. All over the victim's body. Just covered in soot and carbon. Solid evidence. Indeed, okay, now I can leave. It was on each victim's dominant hand. 
I think we've gotten a little closer to figuring out the meaning behind the carbon dust. Hello. We've found out more about that man. Mushy mushy. What man? Who are you talking about? You mean Michael Lang? Oh, uh, Michael Lang. He really does work for loan and taxes. Oh, oh. So is, is he an actual company? shark? So he, he's real. real. Yes, though what he does is barely considered legal. Huh. So is what we do, but that's hey. the case. Is there the slightest <laughs> chance? <that he's laughs> the yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. I'll send you the recording of his interrogation anyway. Oh, this should be good. Interrogation. Goodness. Got it. I Even mean, yeah. He, culprit, he, can at least he called the residents. There's no reason to not listen to what he had to say. All right, let's hear him out. Yes, that's correct. I'm his financial agent. He's dead. Hmm. That's a problem. If that's true, <laughs> our company will be gravely affected. It seems you don't know, but Mr. Eldred, he owes us he He's keeping us afloat. Including interest. Of which he uh -oh. has paid 25,000, leaving 75. The Raging Bomber. Well, I've seen the name in the news. This will be problematic. I'll have to take on the debt then. We extremely regret what, the having bomber? to hear about something like this. Yeah, Unless good luck with that. Issue unsecured loans. Still, there's no reason to loan money to people with no means of repaying that debt. In all honesty, right. Mr. Eldred agreed to make a down payment of $10,000 for the loan. Not only did he make that initial payment, he paid $5,000 the first month and another $10,000 the next. His source of income. Huh. I'm sorry, but our consumer financial group so he had the money within other people's private concerns. Yes, we did loan $100,000 to Mr. Eldred. This was based on the assumption that he could repay the loan. We killed Mr. Eldred? <laughs> you must be joking. If we killed off our customers, we'd never repay Well, yeah, you don't kill your customers. You'll never get repaid, and you'll just have more financial... Approach problem on top of that so well so much for that I don't think Michael Lang is our guy well let's head back to the computer then unfortunate all right so got let's see white male target and newest hey, victim guy, there's something I want to ask you yes what is it did you, you know, know any lo <laughs> any uh, single white men in your area no, that might blow up uh, within a two foot radius? It's just me. I thought so. <laughs> that makes this a little. Odd. I, I could see camera cuts to his perspective. Oh, he looks in the mirror. <laughs> no. The did give advance notice about his next target. Still, the victim this time is obviously different from his previous ones. What's different about him? It's What's different about this goober? He's a He's nobody. not famous. Yeah, he he ain't nobody. Who is this guy? Who the heck is he? He's like we are. Nobody. A politician, a celebrity, and an actor. No need to yell that fact out there. That was that was rough. All the ah. up until now were in the public. We're better than he is. This bombing. Yeah, he's dead. Because we don't we're, we're we, we, we don't buy hundred thousand dollar guitars. That's true. How much was that Conker statue, by the way? Uh, a lot. Perhaps this was I a see. copycat crime. Not that much, actually. Or Compared to Has some the statues I've seen. Yeah, how, much, uh, how much was that column of Felicia from Darkstalkers? Ten thousand dollars! Oh, got on sale then, I guess. Maybe the reasoning behind his previous victims wasn't that they were famous. Hmm. In any case, we have to continue investigating. Keep finding out whatever you can. Let me know if you learn anything. It's understood. I'll I'm starting that. to get thoughts about who the true culprit is. That's so. I do. Think about that Michael our bomber accidentally blew himself. Ooh, that'd be that'd be interesting. I see. It looks like we'll need to do some investigating into the victim as well. Okay. You mean Stephen Eldred? Right. Yep, 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 yep. Doesn't fit the pattern of the previous bomber. We just victims. went over this. We, we just example, went over this. He's not famous. <laughs> As in literally what? just He's looked at this fact. Well why would the bomber target him at all? If we can figure out why, I think we'll see a great deal of progress in this case. There's more to it than that. Well, I hope so. The victim himself made some. We're almost done, though, questions. believe it or not. According to Michael Lang, the man from Loan and Taxes, Stephen was a hundred thousand dollars in debt. That's a lot of money. That's that ridiculous. Once you hit that sixth for digit, a guitar. 
I mean, if you buy a, if you if you build a computer for that, that's fine. But buy a guitar, that's that's sucker behavior, man. Come on. Like, pay for a wedding, the pay for a house. Fit together. You'll eventually pay that back. Yeah. Oh, Hundred thousand for a computer, though. Still, I don't know. How can an ordinary? I, don't know I mean, unless it's running like three RTXs yet? and it's water cooled. The Even then, it wouldn't be ten thousand dollars. That's true. Not even a hundred. You got a periodic income. Then he's dead. Indeed. There was a deposit made. <laughs> Just wanted to him. add that bullet point in a there. Yeah. yeah. Of unknown origin. That's actually that paramount for this case being concluded is he's dead. dead. This led to Stephen being loaned the hundred thousand dollars. The more we investigate, the cloud. That's the hella good gets. credit if this company just goes, Yeah, here's a hundred grand, do whatever okay. you want. Yeah. Hmm, I'm listening. What is it? I've asked for another recording from HQ. <gasps> a recording of what? Ooh. Uh, revolutionary guy. I thought it might be of some use to us. I ordered a copy of the announcement he made before Aiden Posner was killed. Yes! I see. Let me I'll see that. Out. Okay, so this is the third announcement. Yes, 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 yes. Let's hear it. Please. He is just getting off to this so much. You'll never catch me. You'll never catch me. Oh, morons are so incompetent. You can't stop me. Do the ignorant masses out there hear that? Here's a little. You hear? What's up in there? Pay your rent. What's that? Uh, yes. What is it? I've listened to the revolutionary statement. Did anything strike you as odd? Odd? Odd like how? Oh, hmm. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Hmm. Did you hear there's something odd? To me. There's something kind of weird, wasn't there? Yup. I didn't notice anything. All right. Should we listen, listen to, to it, it again, again little guy? A notation, huh? Now we're gonna find something odd here. Hey, hey. Here's a little Ooh. and oh, never mind. Yes, this is the place. It sounds like he was rushed at the end of his statement. Yeah, why was mom? that? Like his mom was coming into his room. <laughs> Yo, mom, stop! I, I'm making an ultimatum. You got chicken nuggets. It's the oh, dino shit. shaped like you like. Mom, I'm making a recording. I took all the breading off because I know how it gives you bad gas. Now Aww, come to dinner. No your father misses me, you. Seriously, if she wasn't letting me sleep here, I'd totally blow up my mom. Let's enhance that. Hey, little guy, what's your opinion on this? It does seem like something caught his attention and he wanted to finish quickly. Hmm, why would he do that? Can we think Are we of any up possible that volume? Things? Increase that gain? Maybe someone interrupted him? Spilled coffee on his desk? There's no way to prove those, though. We need evidence of some kind. Enhance! Well, let's check the spectrogram of the recording. Yo, 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 yo. Background and reprocess it to make Increase that noise, noise little guy. Hmm. Yes, that would be helpful. Send me the Throw that sucker in audacity! <laughs> go, go, go! All right. You'll find the data in the recorder. Good. No, good. Let's listen to it again, and be aware for anything going on in the back. Background noise. Background noise. Background noise. All right. <gasps> okay. Something in the background. Hey, hey, it's me, the revolutionary. What? That may be toward the end, of course. Oh, well, I can't tell you. Think about it yourselves. And oh, oh. Hmm. That's ooh. Sound. Oh, what was that now? Oh, way. I think it was. Oh, way. A phone in Stephen's room. Ah. That's, That's the same sound as Stephen Eldred's phone. What does that mean? Though? Why is the fourth victim's phone heard in the background of the revolutionary's threat? What a fun case. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. that's a fun case. Ah, how about, hmm. That's awesome. 
Uh, I think we just I have one more piece. it together, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, Stephen's Mysteries and uh, the Reverend is, the Revolutionary is a young <laughs> male. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend. Reverend Stephen. large deposits from an unknown source. The voice we hear in the recording of the Revolutionary was not digitally altered. What a, a distinct doofus. It didn't even use noise removal. What an recording. idiot. The most likely Edit your call outs, dude! Didn't, that... didn't even do a second take! Oh my god! It's Steven Eldred. Wow! Who could have seen that coming? Oh boy, oh boy. Well, I guess the problem kind of solved itself. Hmm. That's right. The fourth victim, Steven Eldred. He was the revolutionary. No wonder there wasn't anything on the phone. He accidentally blew himself up! I think I missed something, I think. Should we go find something else? Little guy, I'm borrowing the recorder. Huh? Where are you going, Dr. Kimishima? I'm going back to the revolutionary's room. There's something I want to confirm. Uh, hey, Dr. Kimishima! Case closed. The analysis says this computer should be voice activated. It used to belong to the fourth victim who lived here. If that person really was the revolutionary... So if we take this recording... Put it up to his computer... Hello? Hey! You listening? It's the revolutionary! Oh, it's just so a Sharp X68000. Uh... Yes, I can read. Thank you. Oh my. Show yourself, raging bomber. The raging bomber. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. What's that supposed to mean? Oh no! No, oh, no! Hello, Naomi. Oh, dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Oh, oh, oh. I want to play a game. Dr. Kimishima, where are you right now? He got me. The bomber's someone else. Ah, damn oh, what do you mean? it. Oh, well. We've got to start the investigation over from scratch. Would have been cool if it was him, Tell though, right? Tell not to let their guard down. Mm. Ugh, I've been completely fooled. How could I let this happen? The game is afoot. Because you're... It's, it's a procedural. You can only follow the clues that you're given. I mean... Oh, that's awesome. Hello, Naomi. It's me. Yes, hello, Alyssa. Yes. Hello, Alyssa. <laughs> that sounded familiar. I, I, I share her, her, her uh, chagrin. Is that stereo I'm hearing? <laughs> well, somebody got the better of me. It's nothing. I'm all right. Well, at least you're really? helping. Really? Come on. I'm your friend. I gotta help you out. Thank you. You're a very kind little girl. But no. <laughs> Excuse me, can I bother you for a moment? No, of no, How may no, I you? no, do, do not. You know where I can drop a delivery Absolutely do not. Yeah, right here, I'll I'm sign. Kimishima. I'll take it. Don't. Okay, let's sign here. Don't. Okay. All right. Perfect timing. Here's your You have a lovely day now. Stop. Gabe, I wonder if it's the test results. Oh, Jesus, unsuspecting. Oh, can you sign here, please? This is pretty low tech. What happened to the digital pads? No trace. I'm sorry, mine's broken right now. Anyway, bullshit. Thanks. Did you get something? Who's it from? Yes, That's it's from bomber. a friend of mine. Oh no! Yeah, she had to sign for something. Wow. Right? Oh. Look, look, Naomi. Oh, do you feel it? You sign, you sign for it's something. So you use your dominant hand to sign for That's something, right? right? Uh oh, the but comic panel's kind of uh, uh, kind of giving something away. Uh, good luck with your investigation. Son of a bitch! 
carbon dust. Fuck. Sign here, please. Don't tell me. Throw it. Right. What? Oh no, oh, it's gone. Oh. Did she just take the. Oh, Wait! Wait! Get back the bear! Wait, no! Hold on! Holy fuck. Oh no! Alessa! Alessa! Dr. Kimishima! No, stay down! Let go of me! She. It's my fault! The game is afoot. The game is afoot. And we've just been stepped on, I think. Well, anyway, that was Crimes of Passion. Looks like we've got something right after that. Seeking atonement, <laughs> Jesus. Well, all right, uh, what, what do we got next, it seems? Uh, it looks like, uh, aside from Kimishima's last uh, thing, we've got uh, the last surgery. And we've got, uh, I think this is Frank, uh, uh, Hank's last thing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Things, oh things are definitely heating up. <laughs> oh my god. See you next time. <laughs> oh my god. On Trauma Team. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, they went there. That was great. <laughs> <laughs>